In this video, I'm going to share three easy tips on songwriting for beginners that we can take from the Beatles songwriting. Melodic motifs. Let's look at Here Comes the Sun. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, I say, it's alright. If we look closely, we can see three melodic motifs that are repeated throughout the whole song. A melodic motif is a short phrase that is repeated throughout a song. For example, so we have this one that's pretty obvious. We can hear it at the beginning of the verse and in the chorus. But we also have more less obvious motifs that are repeated in the song. It's been a song. It's all right. And a melody has pitch and rhythm. We can also change the notes of a melody, but keep its rhythm. It feels like you since it's been here. Here comes the sun. Both of these phrases have the exact same rhythm, but they're using different notes so we don't even realize it. Recycling melodic motifs to build a melody like this can make new sections of a song sound familiar without sounding too repetitive. Adding contrast between song sections. We want to keep our songs interesting, and that comes down to balancing repetition, like we just talked about, with variation. Let's have a look at Get Back. This song uses the same chord progression for the verse and the chorus. They use contrast in the melody to make the verses and choruses sound different from each other. Phrase length. In the verse, we get these longer phrases. And in the chorus, the phrases are short. Pitch. In the verse, the melody starts with an E note over an A chord. And in the chorus, we get an F sharp and a G over an A chord. The starting position of our melody. In the verse, the melody starts on the downbeat. And in the chorus, the melody starts on the last beat of the bar. Even when we use the same chord progression for the whole song, we can still keep things interesting by adding contrast between the sections with tricks like this. Set the scene before you tell them how you feel. When we write songs, a lot of the time we want to write about how we feel, but it's important for the audience to know why you have those feelings. For example, saying, I'm sad, isn't as powerful as saying, my dog's been missing for three days and I hope he's not hurt. Set the scene before you tell him how you feel. Start with some details that paint a picture in the listener's mind and then add some emotional details. Let's look at Here Comes the Sun again. This first line sets the scene with a picture of a long, cold, lonely winter. It's been a long, cold, lonely winter. And this second line tells us how he feels about it. Darling, it feels like you since it's been here. And we can see this in every verse of the song. The first lines are giving us a picture we can see. He sets the scene and then he tells us how he feels. Songwriting takes practice, so check out this video next for a quick and easy way to write a full song. Catch you next time.